Hi, I'm Lisa Hayden, and I am hosting the first program uh, on Channel 6 for wa on Washington County Focus. So I'm delighted today to have my first guest, Nell Hayden, who is the Main Street uh, Renaissance Director for Springfield. So Nell has come today to share with us uh, what what a lot of people have been asking me, and that is what is going on with the Robertson Building, which, which is on our main street and is an old historic building and uh, is being, um, appears to be uh, being renovated at this time. So, Nell, thank you for being on the program. I'm just happy to have you here. And I would like to talk with you about the Robertson Building and I'd like to know, first of all, a little bit about the history of the Robertson Building. Okay, well, I'd like to first of all maybe show this picture of downtown Springfield in the early 1900s. And uh, you can see that the Robertson Building has, has always been like the signature landmark building of downtown okay. Springfield. And um, it, it is, uh, was located next to the Walton Hotel, which was also, had been demolished, uh, unfortunately. But downtown Springfield in the early 1900s was absolutely a gorgeous uh, main street. We have very, very significant buildings that are built tremendously well. The architecture is really renowned, and we have been blessed in many ways to be able to restore most of our main street buildings. After we lost the Walton Hotel, our community really made a concerted effort to keep our other Main Street buildings intact and keep them renovated. This is a uh, opera house in downtown Springfield and it was renovated in 2004 and has been just a great facility for the city of Springfield and for our theater. The Robertson building is located at the, at the well, Cross Main and it, it was the only facility that had not been renovated in our downtown. We have the new Judicial Center, we have the 1816 Courthouse right across the street, which I might add is probably one of Kentucky's oldest buildings and is really well known because we don't in Kentucky have very many 1816 structures in such good shape. And then we have the Louisville Store building uh, at the corner at the north corner, and uh, the Robertson Building was our last building that we really needed to work on. And it had gotten in really bad shape, mm -hmm. uh, you know that. And w we have been writing for grants since I've been here in the last 12 years trying to find some help to get that building restored because it was getting in really bad shape. The roof had to be replaced. Uh, the cupola was getting in terrible shape, so we, um, have been working for years to find somebody to renovate that building. Now, of course, the building was privately owned until it was... Well, it was privately owned until a few years ago, and uh, the building owner decided to give the building away as a, a tax write-off. So they looked at different agencies and different organizations and they decided to give the building to the city of Springfield. And uh, the city gladly took it and ag again tried to find more grants. But we were very, very fortunate in that a company in Lexington, AU Associates, who had been down here to look at this building before, uh, AU Associates has done really great work in the state of Kentucky renovating old high schools and converting them into housing units. Uh, I've, I've seen their work in Glasgow, in Paducah, um, they've even gone into West Virginia and Virginia and doing work and um, when they came back to see us um, after the city owned the building, it was probably going to be a workable project if, just, if they didn't have to purchase the building. Mm -hmm. So city officials wanted to work with AU Associates because of their experience and, um, and we were able, they were able to get some funding, uh, some state funding and some tax credits mm -hmm. in order to make this project work 
And so the city elected to go with them, and they have a, AU Associates has a 40 year lease with the city of Springfield. And what they are going to do with the building is convert it <coughs> into seven very nice apartments mm -hmm. and keep the first level, the first floor, 800, about 800 square foot of the very first floor will continue to be retail. And I just want to go back just a little bit because retail is very important um, as far as what it was designed to be. The Robertson Building was one of our old general stores. Uh, when it was opened in 1896, that's when it was built, you could go to the Robertson store and buy anything that you can buy in the Mall of Louisville. And that's where we did our shopping when we were young. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, it was, it was in business probably for many years. I, I don't know when it actually had to close down. But I know generations of people in Springfield and Washington County shopped there and wow. bought all kinds of products. I still have thread from the Robertsons. <laughs> but anyway, we are delighted that we can convert, keep the first floor as a retail uh, store. Right. So that's going to be... And, and there's going to be seven apartments, one and two bedroom apartments. Um, you know, with the, with the building being donated to the city and then AU Associates um, getting grant money that, you know, the city of Springfield approved, um, then, um, you know, this is at no cost to the citizens of Springfield. No, not, no cost at all. And, uh, or, you know, or to the city. As a matter of fact, it's going to be nice because uh, it, we, the, or, the, or, the, or the city of Springfield will receive the rent off of the retail space downstairs. Am I correct on that, that is, now? That is correct. Uh, AU Associates is, uh, well, they're leasing that retail space back to the city for like a dollar a year. So they're allowing the city to make a profit off of our, the rental of the first floor space. Right. Which is very beneficial to the mm -hmm. city and the Main Street program. Right. And of course, I suppose right now, um, uh, there have been um, um, advertisements about uh, anyone interested in uh, renting that retail space is welcome to um, apply. Well, we did do what was called a RFP last spring when we were, knew this project was coming. Uh, that's a request for proposals, and we didn't receive any at that time. But since then, we've had a number of people that have expressed interest. And, and that will be discussed at the February City Council meeting, how they will, the council will deal with that. So they may issue another RFP or go a different route. Mm -hmm. But anybody that is interested can contact City Hall. And, and also, if you're interested in the apartments, you can contact City Hall or the developer themselves. And I have his name and phone number, so. Okay, good. So these apartments are going to be seven apartments, mm -hmm. two downstairs in the back, I believe, yes. and five upstairs. I believe so, yes. And so you'll have to, um, I don't, there's not going to be an elevator or anything. You'll have to walk up, I think, or, well, There's one is handicap accessible on the first floor, so that okay. that's probably got ramps or, you know, but the rest of them will have some stairs. There's no elevator in that. Okay. And uh, and the ones on the second story are absolutely, well, they're all nice, but anybody that's familiar with, well, look at the view out the side window. <laughs> Let me <laughs> see. <laughs> it's the judicial yeah. center. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the view, uh, from the very front is the 1816 courthouse. And, and those of you that remember Mr. Booker Robertson, he was the proprietor for the Robertson store. That's what, his apartment was on the second story that overlooked the 1816 mm -hmm. courthouse. And it's an awesome apartment because it's got beautiful, beautiful um, uh, woodwork and it has a lovely fireplace that they are, that they are you know, redoing. And, uh -huh. and the views are just spectacular. Uh -huh. So in the very front, they are, they're going to be one bedroom units. And then, um, and they're going to have like 12 foot ceilings. Mm -hmm. So they're causing. Because they're maintaining 
the historical nature of the building. They, they have and to. And that is required. what is so exciting. Yeah. And that they're required to do that. They are required to do that. So they will, the, the exterior of the uh, building will be just like it was when we built it in 1896. The interior, they have to retain a lot of the original woodwork. And for example, this is the arch that if you remember walking up the steps in the Robertson building into the women's clothing department. Right, right. <laughs> well, anyway, that is, that is actually inside one of the apartments now, that archway. Here, here, I don't I want to make sure you can see it. So you'll, go, you'll enter the apartment through the archway, and this is one of your larger apartments. Uh -huh. Two, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Because there's not going to be any three. I do not think. I think it's one and two bedrooms. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm sure. Yeah, it's one and, and two. And of course, bedrooms. you have to be, uh, eligibility requires uh, uh, moderate income. Um, so, because it's, th some of this money is uh, through the Kentucky Housing Corporation. So, I believe that, you know, you can't be over income. It, you, you there is an income, but I mean, it's still pretty significantly high. I mean, like I think a, a one person can make $30,000 and qualify for one of the apartments. So, and $30,000, you know, is a new teacher or a, a right. you know, that, that's, right. it's, and they go up from there. So there is some wage stipulations there. Right. And AU Associates, um, you know, they, they also are particular about, you know, they, they want to have good renters and they do good check, mm -hmm. uh, credit checks and things like that. And they take care of all that. They take care of they all that. Care okay. Of all that. So if someone wants to apply for either or is interested in retail space or interested in renting an apartment now, they can contact City Hall at 336-5440. 5440-336-5440. Or if they're interested in the retail space, they can contact me here at the Opera House, and that's 336-5412, extension 2. I mean, I can take their information also. Okay. So, and contact Nell Hayden at 336-5412-5412. Yeah. And then Nell Hayden at 336-5412-5412. And then The young man that you would contact with, um, AU Associates, his name is Johan Graham. And Johan has an interesting story in that he is married to the great granddaughter who built this place, John R. Barber. So he always had a special eye out for Springfield because of that. But anyway, um, Johan, Johan's number is 859 233 2009. Okay. So let me say that again. So the contact person for if you're interested in an apartment is Johan Graham, and you can reach him at the Lexington office of AU Associates at 859-233-2009. So now when do we expect to get these, uh, uh, get the building finished? Well, I think you can see from this picture right here, they're coming right along. This was just last week. Yeah. Uh, I think that they'll be finished by midsummer if they don't run into any big, you know, because they're coming right along. They're working on the cupola. Well, they're working on the inside. It's a very coordinated effort. So I think by midsummer, you will see it open mm -hmm. or ready. Mm -hmm. I'm very well, excited. Very, I oh, know, I'm very <laughs> excited too. This is going to make our downtown just look fabulous. Even more fabulous. Well, so. it is. It is a really special building to people in Springfield because everybody knows the Robertson Building, right. and we are indeed blessed to, you know, be able to get it renovated and it'll be here for another 150 years. Right. So we are blessed. Right. <laughs> Was is there anything you'd like to add to that now? Um, no, I just uh, want to congratulate you on this program, and uh, I think that's a wonderful thing for our community and. And I'm glad you're able to do it. Yeah, well, thank you, Neil. <laughs> I'm happy to have you on the show as my first guest. Well, it's a pleasure. <laughs>